Ladies and gentlemen, we must start this episode out with an apology, and that is because we are 27 episodes into the series, and we have yet to show you one of these guys, which is just shameful on our part, but that's about to change. Hi everyone, and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Hunter Schrader, or Dino Hunter, depending on if you like me or not, and this week we've got what's called a crinoid. Now, a lot of you will look at this and go, oh, is that a plant? Is that the bad guy from the Matrix? No, on both of those cases. What this guy is, is he's actually an animal. Crinoid is a word, means lily-like, and when you look at this thing, it does look a lot like a lily. This one specifically is a Retmocrinus granuliferus, which is quite a mouthful, but most crinoids have a name like that. This guy's from the great state of Indiana, and while Indiana does have a ton of crinoids, you're going to find them all over the world. Pretty much anywhere with a marine deposit in the time frame that they lived, you're likely to find some of these guys. Something to point out here is this stem, which is a really distinct characteristic of crinoids. In fact, there are entire deposits that are made up almost entirely of crinoid stems, which is really cool. Something that's pretty unique about crinoids, as far as animals are concerned, is that what they would do is they would take this part, and they would anchor themselves to like a rock or something, and then with the current, they would spread these out, and they would catch the little things that floated by, like plankton or detritus or something like that, which is a really cool thing about them. And they're echinoderms. That's not a word a lot of people know, but you do know a lot of echinoderms. You're thinking, there's no way I know any of that. Think again. Starfish. These guys are actually related to starfish. Slightly. Isn't that great? Well, it's all the time we have, and that's also all the crinoid jokes we could think of. It's actually really hard to think of them, so if you guys can think of any crinoid jokes, please type them in the comments below. And if it's funny enough, I will laugh.